This episode of the vlog is sponsored by Wix. You can create stunning websites using Wix. The one thing I've always been intimidated by is websites. When Wix asked me what I would want to do, I got intimidated immediately. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. All I knew was that I had to make a website and that scared me. When I started digging through Wix and realizing how editable everything is and I could pull stuff from my Instagram, from my Facebook, from my YouTube, it made life a lot easier for me. I started getting over that fear factor. I had a few ideas of what I would do if I created my own website, and it occurred to me, I never really had a blog. I have this blog, but I never really had a blog where I could actually sit down and write my thoughts. I've always been intimidated to have to update it. So I'm starting a blog. I'm gonna be using Wix templates to create a blog, and I'm gonna try and update it at least once a week. You can choose from hundreds of templates, and every template is fully editable. Every template is a full-on website, so you choose whichever one suits your needs. I wanna have an open communication with you, rant a little bit. The goal is to be able to interact with the fans, and maybe you guys can interact with each other. It's gonna be a place for me to put down my thoughts. The reason I haven't done this sooner is because I was always so intimidated to actually create a website. You can bring in pictures from Instagram, Facebook, you can bring in videos from YouTube. You can use your social media to build your site. It's always been such a hassle have to lean on everybody to do the websites. That's why things never get updated because you always have to ask somebody else to do it. But now with Wix, I can do it myself. And you can go in and you can edit every little aspect of it. Photographs, you can edit the text, you can install your own fonts into the program. Follow the links below to get to the Wix website and to get to my new blog site sponsored by Wix. Thank you. Welcome back, thank you for joining me again. What the f In new work this week, I am working on a leg duplicator. I wanna to begin to make my own legs, something I've been wanting to do for a while. That first table build I did, I got the legs online from tablelegs.com. We actually started the conversation, me and those guys. We might actually end up working together. So. In the meantime, I still want to make my own legs and inspire people to make their own legs and duplicate their own legs. So this is an upcoming video, working out the kink. Not quite as simple as I first thought. There's lots of videos online talking about and showing about how to do this. I'm trying a couple of different approaches. Seems like I'm gonna get there. I'm halfway there. In letterpress news, I finished and posted this new video of me hand carving this letterpress sign. I spelled two words wrong, I apologize. I have a hundred of these prints that are gonna go for sale next week. I packaged them today, you'll see that in next week's vlog, and they are gonna be at the web store next week for sale. I'm definitely going to make a lot more. Honestly, packaging them has been the problem. I don't know whether to use tubes or envelopes. This first batch is gonna go out in envelopes because the tubes I bought are too tiny, but these are gonna go out very soon. I've been loving my Muse laser from full spectrum. This thing is incredible. In fact, tonight. I started working on this. I'm kind of making like a fishnet. Fishnet leather. And I'm able to cut all the holes and sew them. This is kind of outside thread. I've been experimenting. I love my Muse laser. This thing is incredible. I have it at the house so I don't go into sub zero weather over at the shop. So, in the meantime, it's here at the house. So, every night I'm here cutting material, playing around. An amazing tool to have. If you're on the fence about getting a laser, Definitely pick yourself up a laser and while you're at it pick up a muse laser and I'll get some credit so Guys, thank you very much at full spectrum and this muse laser is incredibly easy to use That's coming from a guy who's afraid of technology and I'm telling you it, it, it is a life changer it, it is incredibly fun to work with so thank you full spectrum and There'll be some laser cut videos coming up So my life is digital sometimes and it's analog other times. The guy that makes my die cut stencils doesn't want to do it anymore. I thought to myself, hey, I got all these printing presses. I can turn one of them into a die cutter. So this is a die cut. I got this made online. It costs about $250, $300. Digital proof, I approved it. And then I got this in the mail. And now I can die cut any material. I can die cut old cereal boxes. I could die cut anything. For me, it's a lot of fun just experimenting with all these old disciplines and new ones. 
Scott is my guy at the store. He handles all the, the orders that come in through the mail. And I just sent Scott 75 ice picks. There's more on the way. So if anybody needs an ice pick, email the store and put in your order. They should be up for sale any second, if not already. Last week I went to Springfield, Massachusetts woodworking show. Got to hook up with some friends. Hooked up with Tony from Hillview Metal and Wood Planes. If you don't know Hillview Metal and Wood, check out Tony's handmade planes. These are incredible. He hand makes them one at a time. I bumped into Vance Maker and I saw my friends at Arbor Tech and I got to play with some new tools from Arbor Tech. In fact, the duplicator, I'm using a couple of Arbor Tech cutters on that. Get yourself a couple of Arbor Tech planer heads and start having some real fun. Finally, now that I have the space, I got myself a big giant shop bot machine. It's getting set up next week. I'm really excited. This time, maybe, maybe in about a week and a half, I will have this thing up and running. 10 by five feet, I'll be able to cut anything. I am so excited. Thank you, ShopBot. About 10 times a week, everybody asks me how David Welder is doing. David is great. He moved out of the city. He's in love. He's got a new house. At the end of the summer, I gave him the old Chevy C10 that I used. I took this old Chevy and I made the tailgate uh, a rack for George Dickel whiskey. And the video was done. They never got it together to come pick it up. Stayed in my backyard. The shelf, everything. I had intentions of fixing the car up. I just never had the time. I gave the whole pile to Dave. And Dave and his dad got the car in running condition. Dave just drove it 100 miles to come visit me. Here it is. Bad leak on the exhaust manifold that I plugged with this powdery steel stuff. Look at the name of it. It comes in a container like that big. And it feels like a brick of steel. It's like super high heat or something. It still worked. It's there. Rock and is roll. that crazy or what? <laughs> it's so cool. Is it 71 or what is it? Yeehaw, 72. 72. Last year. So you guys changed the springs. What else did you change? Completely bridged it over. My dad did it actually while I was gone. We came up with the plan and with he, like quarter inch plate? You just like one on either side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do shocks and springs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Um, and then Sanford and Son below. <laughs> Your dad just replicated this. He basically replicated this piece of black gas pipe, um, <laughs> square stock, and then this was put on, uh, applied to then this 18, okay. whatever, 16, 14 gauge. Up, right? And so she's all sitting above. Oh, yeah. And there's some of our work right here. Oh, Look, yeah. right? So that's packaged. That's what the retainer I'm talking about. Holland. Yeah. And the trailing arms too. A big problem with these, if you look in here, they <laughs> the heat works. Yeah, baby. I put in a new uh, water pump. Oh shit! I can't believe the heat works. This is how I beep at people. I gotta close the connection from here to here. Ping, ping, ping. Jim's old truck. Yee! I like that steer wheel, it's like whole carton of milk. <laughs> <laughs> Just got back from Chicago. I was in Chicago for three days. I went to a thing called Ord Camp, O-R-D-C-A-M-P. It is an invitation only thing thrown by my friend Zach and my buddy Fitz. 
Guys, thank you for having me. It's a little hard to explain WordCamp. It's just a bunch of people get together and teach each other cool things. And I learned, among many other things, taxidermy. I taxidermied this mouse. It was a really amazing experience. Very empowering because it's something that I didn't think I'd be able to do. And I powered through it and it was amazing. This mouse, it was already dispatched. It was a lab mouse or something. It was a great experience. I do plan on doing this more often. I don't think I'm gonna probably do any detailed YouTube videos of this process because it's probably not something that's pleasant to watch. It is an amazing skill and I'm so happy that I broke ground and, and I'm, I'm, I'm curious and just wanna know more about it. I'm gonna do a little book club segment. Risen from Rust. If you guys don't know Bert, his channel will be below. Bert made this book and it is a beginner's guide to restoring vintage woodworking tools. And he's done a very detailed call out to the tools you'll need and some of the processes you'll need. I'll put a link. He's got a great YouTube channel. Forged, a guide to becoming a blacksmith by none other than Liam Hoffman. If you don't know Liam Hoffman, you are missing out. He is an incredibly talented young man. At the age of 19, he was one of the youngest guys on Forged and Fire to win it all. Not only skilled at making things, but his style. He's got a beautiful taste, He's got a great eye. It's one thing to be able to, the metallurgy and the, and the ways to make things, but it's a complete complete other skill to have a beautiful sense of style and I think he encaptures both of those. How to begin, what to get, how to use stuff, the different types of tools from his point of view. So check out his book. My buddy Asa Christiana used to be the editor-in-chief at Fine Woodworking. He's now on his own. There's Asa right there. He put out this book, Build Stuff with Wood. And the forward is by none other than our mutual friend, Nick Offerman. So check out Asa's new book, Build stuff with wood, make awesome projects with basic tools by Asa, forward by Nick. I'm not making any money on this. These guys are just friends and I'm just shouting them out. So go catch me some mice. I gotta practice. Guys, thank you very much. Go check out Wix. Check out my site on Wix, links below. I'm gonna do my best to take advantage of using this site as a blogger site. We'll be trying to add articles in my own style, in my own way, about whatever it is, design, building, making things, theory of making things, the art of making things, the business of making things. Be patient with me, I'm still learning. Thank you very much.